Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. If you saw my post from earlier this week, I did glitter tattoos. So um, I wanted to show you how to make that stencil. And before we get started, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, so I did a Kids Bob tattoo, glitter tattoo stencil, so that my daughter, we were going to the concert. So um, when I did it, I had already done a t-shirt, and so I used this image. But now that I've Googled Kids Bob, I realize this image is gonna be a lot easier to clean up because there's a black um, all around the word Kids Bob and that will be easier to clean up on the inside. Over here, you can see there's like some light blue in there, so that's gonna be more difficult. So let's grab this one, and you're gonna to need to you know, uh, do a picture of this. So I'm using the snipping tool on my computer, and I'm gonna to go to new, and <clears throat> oh my gosh, excuse me. I'm gonna click this tool right here, um, which I'm not sure that you can actually see that, but I'm basically taking like a little snippet of the image, okay? So here's my snipping tool. So I'm going to save it. I'm gonna save it as kids, oops, kids bop. Okay, now I'm gonna go into design space. Um, let's go to new project and upload, upload image browse we're gonna look for the picture and I believe it's in pictures and it's um, nope it's not in pictures this one okay and it's under kids Bob right right <laughs> so let's look for that here we go I'm gonna double click on it I'm gonna click complex continue we're gonna clean up the image so um, I have the background remover I'm gonna select all of the green perfect all the yellow I mean, this makes it so much easier, right? Now you can see there are still some colors here. I'm gonna see if I can click that. Now, at this point, I can go to the eraser. And if you scroll down, this is how big the eraser size is. And I'm just clicking on it, which I can get this as well. Now, if I wanna go smaller, like a smaller eraser ball, I'm going to move the dial over and I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit. You can preview the cut image. Okay, so right here we can get rid of these. And I'm just using my mouse to get as close as I can. Hide the cut image because we also still need to go to select and we gotta do the inside, right? So that we can actually put the glitter, <laughs> you know, where you see that. So wherever you see the clear. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's go to apply and continue. And we want the cut image and upload. I'm gonna add it to canvas. So that's really, really easy, right? So when you think about Kids Bop like this, normally if you cut it out on vinyl or HTV, we would, um, we would peel out the K, the I, the D, and the Z, right? In this case, that's where we actually, we don't wanna peel that off um, because we wanna put the glitter in the black. You're kinda of doing the opposite. So what you wanna do is, um, we're gonna do a square, uh, it shapes. Grab a square. And this is a humongous tattoo at the moment. We're just going to grab the two items and slice, and we'll deal with, with that afterwards. So, now we can get rid of this. This is your actual stencil. So you're gonna remove this white part right here and inside, and that's where you're gonna put the you're gonna put the skin glue on, and then you're gonna put the glitter on so that the K will be your skin. Um, so now you want to resize it. That looks about good. Now the other thing is 
we could have gone closer to get a closer uh, crop, but it's a lot easier to deal with stencil tattoos when they're bigger because then when you put glue here, you won't accidentally get it all the way out here. So, <clears throat> and it's a lot easier just to transfer. So you do want to give yourself some room, even though it seems wasteful. That's literally it. So let me do one that is a little bit more obvious. Okay, so let's do a heart. Normally you would cut the heart and you have the heart, but we actually want the inside of the heart to be filled out, right? So that's why you need, for stencils, you need to slice. So, let's do this and grab the two items and slice. So when you go to cut this, now you're gonna peel out the heart and you can do, you can fill up the heart with the skin glue and then you're gonna put the glitter um, in it so that that's gonna be your, your stencil. So if it just me, I know sometimes I look at something and I'm like, wait, why does it feel like it's the opposite? Because we're so used to just cutting out the actual image, right? Because that's what we want the vinyl to be in, but or the or the cardstock. But in this case, we want a stencil. Um, let's do another one just to make it. Let's go into images and let's look up a smiley face. I feel like that's something that we normally would do, right? Like this one, okay. So, um, I'm gonna slice out these two, cause we're, okay. So here's the image, right? Now if we're doing a stencil. We're gonna grab that rectangle or the square Hold on, I hit this by accident. Okay, here we go. We're gonna grab these two items and slice. Because when you peel out this piece, you're going to then do glitter tattoo. And so the eyes and the smile will be your skin. And then this white part will be covered with your glitter tattoo. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, I have so much fun doing these glitter tattoos. You just need a, um, a glitter tattoo kit from Amazon which comes with the skin glue and a selection of glitter um, that you can put on so uh, it's a lot of fun with kids for parties for concerts whatever it is all right I hope that was helpful I will see you guys next time bye